We staan hier op de stand van Denaudio NAD. Ik sta hier met Greg Stitson. En hij is de product planner voor de uh, NAD products. Um, well, completely new, the M32 and the M50.2. And uh, I'm mostly interested in the M32 now because I've seen this one before on the ISE in uh, Amsterdam. Well, what can you tell us about the M32? The M32 is uh, based, it's a direct descendant of our M2 direct digital amplifier. So this is a technology that we uh, co-developed with uh, ZTEC Semiconductor. Um, and it is a pure digital amplifier. So all of the amplification, all of the pre-amplification is done in, in the digital domain. So uh, only when you get to the speaker output do you uh, convert to analog to drive the loudspeaker. It is, if you like, a DAC that can directly drive a loudspeaker. Yes, it, co it converts PCM to PWM. That's correct. And it does it at a very, very high data rate. So we use a 108 megahertz clock speed, which is much higher than a typical DAC. Uh, it gives us much more precision in the uh, conversion from uh, PCM to PWM. Uh, and then we, uh, samp we, we modulate at 844 kilohertz. That's quite a high sampling rate. <laughs> uh, I think our uh, readers and viewers know the M2 and the uh, C390 DD. Um, that's hard in English. <laughs> uh, beautiful amps, especially the M2 was kind of a statement made, made by NAD. Um, how is this compared to the M M2? I mean, you know a lot more now about the technology. Yeah, so it is more refined. I think you'll find the sound is a, is a cleaner, more refined sound. Um, but I would say the major difference here is the feature set. So we consider this to be a completely modern way to enjoy music. So we have legacy inputs. We have a phono input. We have line inputs. We also have the current digital uh, formats, SPDIF. Uh, uh, we have AES EBU as well as coax and optical. Uh, and then we have our modular design construction. Yes, exactly. So we have four different uh, bays where you can add uh, different uh, modules. Like HDMI, streaming, etc. Exactly. So we have our Blue OS streaming, which is compatible with our, uh, the Blue Sound brand. We also have HDMI available. Uh, we have, uh, you could add additional uh, analog inputs. If you wanted a balanced line input, that's also available, for example. But um, to be clear, all analog inputs will be digitalized. That's correct. So things like volume control are done in digital domain. And this gives a much shorter signal path uh, to the speaker. It's a very, uh, in an analog amplifier or pre-amplifier, you have multiple stages of amplification. And each of these stages creates a little bit of noise and a little bit of distortion, which then get further amplified in the subsequent stages. So it's a cascading effect. Uh, so the thing you notice on this is it's just so clean and so pure, and it comes from a completely silent black background. So just like a video display that has a much higher contrast ratio, this has that same effect in the audible domain. So the music just emerges from a very black, silent background, and it gives you tremendous dimensionality. How much power can it deliver? This will do. Uh, NAD has always focused on dynamic power yeah. because this is what music requires. Yeah. On a continuous basis, we do 150 watts per channel, uh, both into 8 and 4 ohms. Yeah. Uh, into uh, 4 ohms on a dynamic basis, it's about uh, 350 watts per channel. That's enough for 80% of the speakers. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But it's not playing over there. Can I ask you why? Uh, it's a brand new amplifier. It almost uh, didn't make it here to the show. So it's not quite yet in production. Good. That's a good excuse. Uh, thank you for all the information. Last but not least, what is the price going to be? Uh, I only know US dollar. It's 3,500 US dollar. So it's probably similar in euro. Uh, it's approximately uh, half the price of the M12, M22. Uh, so it is a bit less power. It's 150 rather than 250. But for many people, that's... Uh, perfectly adequate. Thank you very much for your time. You're very